We are doing the SQL example for the newspaper database. Um, we are on the last two questions, so the end is nice, so let's finish it. Remember, this database has two tables. There's the clients table, which has details about our clients, and then there's the adverts table. All the clients that made um, adverts or in the classified section, their details of the adverts will be there. So let's have a look. The last question is a calculation or aggregate function. They want to determine and display the number of clients with cell phone numbers. Now they tell us that a cell phone number is any number that starts with a zero. Now this is from our clients table. If I go up here we can have a look. And there you can see all the cell phone numbers have a zero starting with a, or starts with a zero. The others have a bracket. So that's how we know that the data is correct for this type of database. But we are counting something. So if you remember, the aggregate functions are functions that do calculations based on the data in the table. Um, and these are mainly, the main ones that we use are obviously count, sum, min, max, and average. And now remember, the average isn't the same as what it is in Excel. In Excel, you would type the word average, but in Access, you must type AVG to get the SQL statement correct. So it's AVG for the average. So let's work out... Um, how are we going to work this out? Now, the count is the one aggregate function that can work on text or numbered fields. The other four only work on numbered fields or fields that contain numbers um, because you can't obviously find the min of a text field. So this one is fine. So it's nice to use a count because it can use on any field. So let's go to our code. We're going to use the count cell numbers and we're going to add the code over here. So let's type in select. Now, we can only have one type of information, one field over here, unless we're using a group by clause, but this is only one um, field, so it's only one thing that we need, so we're going to use the count, and I can count a particular field name, or when using the count, I could just use star. I can't use star for the other aggregate functions, there you've got to specify which field you are actually uh, minning or maxing and stuff like that, but with a count we can do it for any one. Now if you notice over here, it actually tells us that they want us to display it with that type of heading. Um, so we have to use the as clause here. So let's use as, and in square brackets we must put in number of clients. I think it's clients. Let's just double check. Number of clients with cell phone numbers. Number of clients with cell phone numbers. So that's our as clause. So it'll display it like that. Where are we getting this information from? We get it from the clients table. So I'm going to say from clients TB from the time from the clients table. And my where clause is which which clients are we actually counting? Well we're only counting the cell phone numbers. And those are the ones that start with a zero. So I need the cell phone number, which is in the field telnum, I think. There we go. So telnum, that's the field we're looking for. So where the telephone number starts with a zero. Now we remember if we start with something, then we're using the like clause. And in double quotes, we're going to put in the zero first and then anything after that and for that we use the percentage sign symbol very similar to what we did earlier and that should be it if I've spelled everything correctly it should work and it should give me five there we go and it displays it as I've asked it to display and now we have reached our final question and it's a bonus question yay let's see if we can do this bonus question and level up now this is a special type of sql query because it's not like the select ones that we've done most of them will be select but there'll be one that's probably a executable query a query that does a change to the database and the three ones that do changes to the database is a delete an insert and an update those are the three that edit the database in some way and so this one we're basically going to get from the user an advert ID and the number of words and then we must update the number of words of the ad advert and then display everything. Um, if we go to the code for this button, that's on the ad update adverts button, they've written most of the code for us. Now what they've got here, because it's an executable query, so it's not a select query, we're not going to say active equal true after we've run the code. We are just going to use the execute SQL. And then once it's done, this query is going to run afterwards. That's been written for us. And that's going to do the display for us. So it's going to display the advert, the number of words from there, so we can see the changes that were made, if they were correct. And so this has actually got nothing to do with what we are doing. We're just going to do the update over here. So for an update query, there are three main things for update. We must update, and we need to tell the, the, the Delphi which table do we need to update and after we've done that we will set some sort of field or numerous fields you can have an AND clause there and then 
there could be some sort of condition where something is set. So those are the three main words that you need. So first of all, let's update. What are we updating? We're updating the adverts table. So we say adverts TB. Then what are we changing in this table? Well, they told us if we read carefully here, the number of words that we get from the user must be added. So I forgot about those two inputs. Let's just do them quickly as well. There's a big clue there. S advert S number. So here, let's just do the inputs quickly. So let's get the advert ID from the user. Again, we should use an input box. Input box, and we'll say advert ID as the title, and then say please enter an please enter an advert ID. This will be nice and polite to them. And again, put nothing in the actual edit box where they're going to enter the data. And then we need the number that's going to be added to that advert. Oh, good thing I looked there. There should be an equal to sign there. I'm going to use another input box. And this is got number to be added. That's my title. And please enter the number of words to be added. And there we go. That should be fine. Hopefully that will work. So that's two input boxes. Now, if I was simply changing the number of words, remember we are adding on. So for example, we mustn't just take whatever we get from the user and change number of words to that value. We are updating it to be added. So if the person has 15 words, and we say we must add 5 to it, then we must change it to 20. So we take whatever's in number of words and add on the value that we get from the user. So I'm just going to write it as number of words equals whatever's in number of words plus some sort of value. I'm just going to put a value there for now. Later on, we're going to change that to whatever the inputs are. And then, oh, am I writing that in the right place? No, I am not. Num words. So don't make that mistake. Don't write your code in the wrong place. It should be over here on the set. So num words over here should equal whatever's in num words at the moment and add on some value, which we will obviously get from s number. Oh, I'm making a lot of mistakes here today. Good thing you guys are reminding me. Now the where clause is based on some sort of condition. Now we only want to change those number of words based on the advert ID. If I don't have a where clause, this will change every single advert in the adverts database, the table. So we need to have a where clause where the advert ID will equal, and it's a string variable, so it's some sort of blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's basically what it would look like. The only difference for our case is that instead of that 10 and that little gobbledygook over there, we need to use the variables from Delphi. So let's go start here. We're going to take away that 10. I'm going to put in my single quote, single quote, so I can separate my string. And then on either side, I will put a plus sign. And then in between those two plus signs that I've added, I'm going to add the number that we get from the input. So it'll just be S number. Then we're going to go to the ID over here. I'm going to remove the ID, my fake ID. I'm going to delete it and then put a single quote and then another single quote. And between those two, I will put a plus sign on either side. And then between the plus sign, I will put in the variable name for the advert ID that we want in the SQL, which is S advert. And the way to double check that you've got it correct is that all your SQL text should be blue and any time you refer to a Delphi variable should be in black. And it should work like that. S advert, it looks like it's all correct. So let's just before we go, let's have a look at this data. You should see over here, AN001 has 15 words. Hopefully when we run this, it'll if we put in, for example, 5, it'll update it from 15 and take it to 20. So let's see if that happens. Let's go to our Delphi. Let's run it. Update. So we want advert AN001. And we want to update it by 5. And we go, please work, please work. AN001 is now 20. Let's take another example, just to be sure. Let's look at this ST002, that is 12. If I update that by 20, it should become a 32. So if I update, and I want ST002, so that one, and I want to update it by 20, 
So we'll take the 12, take whatever's in number of words, which is 12, add 20 to it, so it'll be 32, and that becomes the new number of words. Go OK, and there we go. It is 32. So there we go. We know that it's working. So all of the queries are done. We now finish this question. Hopefully we've got all the marks, and I hope that you've learned something from this. And when you do your test or your exam or your question, I hope that you don't just do it the long way, that you do it the Mr. Long Way.